17 minutes past the hour. This is CNBC's Worldwide Exchange, broadcast live from Asia, Europe and the United States. Geopolitical risk and economic uncertainty can make investing in managed funds an attractive investment vehicle. The Galileo China Fund, for example, has gained more than 18% this year. And the New Star European Growth Fund has been one of the best performing funds in its sector over the last three years. Joining us now with his market call is Peter Howe, Director of Trading Helvetia Wealth. Peter, good to have you with us. Now, you're recommending the Galileo China Fund, but aren't you concerned about the slowdown in China at a time when the government is getting more aggressive? when it comes to cooling down this red-hot economy? We're not particularly that concerned about the slowdown there because we're seeing such huge growth and potential in this market uh, and we're seeing a long way to go. Certainly restructuring and the privatization of uh, a lot of the companies there means that uh, we, we think there's a, a massive potential over the next two to three years. So it's an area where we're focusing our customers on our clients. Certainly. We, mm. What we opportunities are you focused on in China? What do you see there? Well, we'd rather leave it to an expert to do that. So we are looking for, as you say, some managed funds. We have some Asian specialists here in, uh, based out of uh, Liechtenstein and uh, in Zurich called uh, the CAT Group. Uh, they've been Asian specialists for the last sort of 15 to 20 years. They've uh, got a best of class uh, Japanese uh, fund and they've two or three years ago they started this Chinese fund. Um, uh, they're over in China a lot looking at these companies. It's been a, it's been a very good fund over the last uh, sort of eight to ten weeks when markets have been pretty volatile with some of these geopolitical uh, risks that you've been talking about. Uh, and I think we're looking at about 12% return over the last uh, 10 to 12 weeks. So, you know, we are not uh, Asian specialists, so we'd rather leave it to someone who is, and that's why we put, put it into a uh, CAT FIT Galileo fund. Uh, Peter Stross here as well. You're also um, suggesting clients put money into uh, the New Star European uh, Growth Fund. We've seen the latest European growth data very good, but there are those who say that's it's now as good as it gets. Maybe this isn't the time to be, uh, you've missed the boat somewhat. <laughs> Well, uh, what I'd say is that we're looking around for our clients, the best areas sort of uh, geographically to put our clients' money in. We think the U.S. Uh, has done well in the past, but we think there is a slowdown going on there. We think there is going to be some pressure on the dollar going forward. Uh, so we've chosen that we think continental Europe, uh, over actually the UK, uh, because of the, the data we've had recently, because of the Q2 earnings we're seeing, double-digit double uh, growth around Europe. I mean, uh, this fund that we're speaking about, the, the New Star Fund, focuses uh, a lot of its weighting is in Ireland, Germany, France. Uh, we've seen some very good earnings growth from them. Uh, you know, this is a, a long track record with New Star, and John Duffield uh, was head of Jupiter Asset Management. He's sold it's five years now at uh, New Star. Uh, the fund manager is Richard Pease, a very well respected European fund manager. And again, the fund this year has uh, really outperformed all the index, European indexes. It's up 11% so far this year. Uh, and we think uh, that Europe will outperform uh, the US and the UK over, over the next three to six months. You know, there are still some problems uh, uh, out there, there are still some uh, geopolitical problems out there, but they are easing. We've seen Iran uh, talk a little softer today. We've seen, uh, obviously, the ceasefire in the Middle East. So we're very confident of quite a bit of a rally, certainly in Japan, China, and continental Europe over, the, over to the end of the year, end of the year anyway. Peter, thank you very much for your views. They're good well. talking to you. Peter Howe, head of trading Helvetia Wealth. Well, still to come on Worldwide Exchange, Nestle unveils its half-year earnings to investors' taste. We'll analyze those numbers, but is the taste, is it the taste of your choice? Email us your favorite chocolate brand to worldwide at cnbc.com. We would love to hear from you.